Buying a car at a car dealership is not a good experience in most cases. Luckily, there's a better way. Yeah, we're actually in the process of purchasing a car in the next few months. And we are really taking a look at Carvana.com because there's a good possibility we might end up getting our car through that website. So if you're not familiar with Carvana, you can buy a car online through their website and get it delivered to your door. It's I pretty like cool. <laughs> So we're gonna give it a website review. We have timestamps down below so you can follow along and be sure to watch till the end so you can get our final grade. Yep, let's get started. First impressions is this is a nice, clean and professional looking website. I like that there's different options because people are going to this website for different reasons. Some people know the exact make and model of car that they want. Some people just have a budget in mind and they don't really care the make and model. And then there's probably other people that are going to see how much they can get for a trade-in. Mm -hmm. So you can go onto the homepage and there's three options, cars that fit your budget, if you scroll down a little bit, yeah. sell or trade your car. And they kind of even walk you through the process of how buying a car from Carvana works. So yeah. really good the stuff. First impressions is the homepage is a really powerful page where you can navigate anywhere on the website it looks like so mm -hmm. this is a very good use case of if you get your home page down you're, you're, it's going to make it so much easier for your users absolutely now we're going to start navigating the website as if we were going to go ahead and purchase a car so there's a couple different ways that we can do it on this website and right out of the gate if you know exactly what make and model you can just put it in here um, there's also this thing called the car finder where they will help you kind of figure out which cars might fit into your budget or your needs. So let's just go ahead and try some of these different ways. So let's try the car finder. And what you do is you select up to four different uh, features it looks like that are important to you. So let's just check these four. Price, let's say we want to go up to like 25,000. Select the type of car, like an SUV. And what do you want here? Four seats, maybe? That sounds good to me. Yeah, four. So based off of what you put into this little quiz, they give you different options. And I like how they have the 89% match or scrolling down 87, 86. It's almost like an online yes. dating site. <laughs> so funny story. Uh, we met on a dating website, uh, OkCupid, and she was a 98% match. And here we are married several years later. So um, that's kind of creepy. And so it's the same <laughs> thing as a car match. It looks like they take some parameters and just kind of give you a percentage. So um, let's just go ahead and click on one of these right here. And so this is going to show us all of the, what is it? Acura RDX. RDX. So as you can see right here, they have it a nice grid layout. So it's very easy to navigate and they give you some good information in the yeah. grid too. the price, the estimated monthly payments, the mileage, yep. all these things are really important for e-commerce, yep. especially if you're buying a car because it's a pretty big purchase. And whenever I go to these type of websites, I, I love how you can filter, you can go highest price, yeah. lowest price. To me, one of the most important features would be, uh, I want a car that's a little bit newer maybe. So you think- Lower mileage. Yeah, lower mileage. So you, I like to go by newest year. Okay. So let's just go ahead and just choose one and we'll show you this really cool interactive um, 3D model they have of the car. So what this is, is they, every time uh, Carvana gets a car, they bring it into this big building and it's got 3D cameras all around it. This is really neat. Yeah, and so you can click and navigate around the car. And anytime you see these little orange pop-ups, these are actually small like imperfections. So if there's like a little scratch, a little dent, you can click here and it will actually show you what it is like right in the picture. There's a little scratch. Perfect. Yeah, because honestly, a lot of times when you buy used cars, you know, they're not perfect by any means. So you want to see all the small imperfections mm -hmm. before you even think about pulling the trigger. If you are a small business, you need to really take this into consideration as well. Mm -hmm. People can't actually touch your products, interact with your products, so you have to yeah. be as descriptive as possible. Make it easy for them because I, 
if someone's searching a car, it's a huge investment. You're going to probably look at 20, 30 cars. Who knows? Mm -hmm. You want to see all the little things like, okay, if this one has a big stain, I don't want that one. I want this one. It has a little right. scratch here. And if you can't see this online, yeah. then your e-commerce site isn't going to be effective. So Carvana exactly. did a really great job of yeah. making sure they are as descriptive as possible. Mm -hmm. And so in this case, you can also not only do the exterior, but you can click the... Uh, interior button right down here and now you can go in here and see if there's any you know damage parts inside mm -hmm. like in this one there seems to be a little bit of uh, problems on the dash it looks like so mm -hmm. if that would really bother you because you see that all the time then i would just skip to the mm -hmm. next car so They're that's really allowing you to research mm -hmm. every car so you pick the one that's right for you yeah and then if you don't want to do the interactive thing they have just regular images so and they show you the same types of pictures. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that if you're on mobile, this might be really quick to just go through right. the images rather than the 3D model. So, yeah, it's it's a really good experience. Absolutely. And I, there's a few other like car places like a CarMax. They have this type of functionality too. But um, I really like how everything's laid out and yeah, even when you scroll it, down, they give you more details. Yeah, you can people. tell that they did a lot of thought into how people are going to navigate the website so of mm -hmm. course the first thing you want to do is see the car imperfections see it then you scroll down and you get to me this is the second most important would be the car the car right. facts they give you the ability to actually click it and see it right here mm -hmm. so instead of having to go into the dealership and having to deal with the the sleazy uh, car salesman yeah. and yeah he's like oh you can only get the car facts let you... me let me talk to my yeah. manager <laughs> this you could just see it right there so if you see that like the car's been owned by a bunch of people and it was like a a fleet car so you could just pass on it you right. could just say I'm, i don't want this so that is awesome it's just like really powerful information to know that before yeah. you pull the trigger. I really like how this area is laid out as well with the features and then they have a tab for the brochure yeah. and the warranty. Yeah, the warranty. They, I uh, believe Carvana has a warranty. Mm -hmm. Like right out of the gate, they're like, if you don't like it within, I believe, seven days, you can just return it. So Yeah, you can actually test the cars out for seven days yeah. and return it if you really hate it. Yep. And then down here, they give you a lot of different ways that you can pay so you can if you have enough cash you could just pull the trigger right now and actually buy the car and just get it done um, if not i believe they have some ways that you can get some financing done yeah and then this was kind of cool too um you know if you don't quite know how much a car might cost you can kind of go here you have your trade-in value so really yeah, cool here this is great yeah i i seriously can't really think of any negative things on the, how they laid out this page like it's perfect yeah, yeah. i can tell that they did a lot of research and likely did some use case studies to mm -hmm. see how people interacted with the website which is a really important thing because you might not think of something but down the road people are reviewing and going on your yeah. website and they give you suggestions that you're like oh yeah i can add yeah, that in there usually, they definitely did that usually if i'm navigating a website i usually in the back of my mind, I feel like there might be something that I'm missing or is lacking. I, I'm not joking. I can't really think of anything on here. They give me all the information I need right there. Yeah, really I, good stuff. Yeah. Um, okay, so that would be, you know, if you wanted to buy the car, of course, we're not going to buy a car right now. So you would just click this right. button and then they make you create an account. And you just mm -hmm. go through it. Um, I've gone halfway through the process, but uh, not quite there yet. So let's go back to the home page and... Instead, if you didn't want to do the car finder, like in our situation, we know that we're probably going to buy a RAV4. So you can just type in RAV4 and boom, you're done. It's already filtered out. Everything's good. You can go here just like the other system. You go by highest price, lowest price. Yeah. I mean, they, they even you... have more filters at the top for yeah. the different body types and yeah. years and mileage. If you didn't want it to be over 50,000 miles, whatever it may be. Yeah. They really thought about... <laughs> every possible thing yeah. that people would consider when purchasing a vehicle yep and then um overall if you don't know how carvana works they have some good documentation down here on how it works um, one cool thing is there's some cities where you do the vending machine so mm -hmm. it looks like this there's one here in the philly area there is where if you buy the car they ship it there and then you can actually go if you don't want it delivered to your house 
you can go to this big vending machine and <laughs> it's funny they give you a token you put it in there and then it comes down like a like a regular vending machine but it's a car yeah it's, it's really neat it's fun yeah <laughs> and we've seen it work before so if we do get it we might either do that or just get it shipped to the house who knows but <laughs> Okay, so the next part of the video, I like to just go over some of the technical issues that I saw or any performance issues. And the test I ran was uh, through GT Metrics. And so this is a really good website where it goes through and it analyzes all the code and any red flags or anything. And overall, you can see it, it gave it a C, which isn't great, you know, isn't horrible. So 62% performance, structure is pretty good at 91. And then the web vitals are not bad here. I think with a site like this, you're going to take a little bit of a performance hit just because there's so much script and yeah. stuff to make this work. Mm -hmm. But in Carvana's case, this yeah. the stuff that they have on the website is really useful. I, so it might, from a technical standpoint or SEO standpoint, mm -hmm. not be the greatest, but they're a big enough brand yeah. that they don't have to worry about SEO. Yeah, as you can see down here, um, right here, 1.27 megs is JavaScript. So that's extremely rare to see in a lot of cases for normal small business websites mm -hmm. just because it's mainly like graphical things you're but in this case mm -hmm. all of these functions up here are all like javascript driven right. so yeah i could understand why this is heavy on javascript but mm -hmm. i mean overall the website performs really well it's fast it does. and i've been on this website several times i've never hit uh any major lags so even though it's kind of bloated with the javascript it's I haven't seen it much performance. Yeah, they it's, did a great job. Yeah. The next thing we like to check out is, is the website accessible and does it pass accessibility test? So the first thing I usually do for big brands is I go down into the footer and if a brand is really serious about accessibility, um, as you can see down here in my mouse, they have a whole page just for their accessibility statement. So if you see this, this is a really good sign. This means mm -hmm. that they have invested time, resources, money, into their accessibility and the tool i like to use to measure this is called wave and what's cool is they have a chrome extension where you can view the website in real time and see any accessibility issues so even though they have two errors here if you go under here um, these are two small little errors which can be fixed pretty quickly but overall they don't have a lot of issues here there's some contrast issues it looks like um, overall, this website, you could tell, was thought out. You could see all these labels down For here. Sure. Yeah, they've thought this out, and the fact that they have this is a really good thing. Right. We really love the Carvana website. It has clean navigation. It's easy to find what you're looking for, and there's not a lot of fluff. Yeah, I love how there's multiple like call to actions throughout the website, so you can go there for multiple different reasons and get the results that you're looking for. We give Carvana.com an A. Would you consider buying a car online or have you done this before? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to receive notifications whenever we post a new video. Bye. See ya.